I don't understand. Starlight and I have known each other since we were foals, but that doesn't mean we have to be foals to hang out. Uh, Starlight does have a tendency to overdo. I mean, it is surprising how well I get along with all of her friends, but she and I still have tons in common. Maybe you just need to remind her what those things are. That's it! That's exactly what I'll do! Uh, right after I think of them. Uh-oh. Obviously, you and I hit it off. I am quite impressive. <laughs> and we share a love for prestidigitation. You're right! And Starlight and I share a lot of things, too. I just need to think of them. What else do you guys have in common? Well, we both made not-so-great choices in the past. And we're self-conscious about every pony judging us, even though we've both changed and are trying hard to be better. Yeah, we don't really have that. I can think of something you have in common. You're both poor practice audiences. Starlight and I don't really have a lot in common, other than feeling different from most ponies. And comedy. Comedy? I'm very funny. Was that a joke? No. Well, it's more than I can think of that she and I have in common. We don't really spend that much time talking about that, though. Mostly we're just comfortable around each other. <sighs> we used to be. We did everything together. But now I'm wondering if we've spent so much time apart that we don't connect over anything anymore. And if we can't connect over anything, then maybe we're not even friends. Well, at least it's not serious. That was a joke. I appreciate you trying to help, Twilight. But it seems pretty clear that Sunburst and I have grown apart. I understand. But I feel like that only happens if you both let it. You still want to be friends, right? I created a spell so we could relive playing a game in our childhood home. And bodies. Right. I'm just not sure Sunburst wants to stay friends, too. I think you might be surprised. Prepare yourself. For the new and improved Dragon Pit! We had to take out a few spaces to get it to fit, but you hardly miss them. Maud made the dice. Pumice is the lightest igneous rock. It seemed the best choice. And I added the special effects. <laughs> There's nothing like a little well-placed magic smoke. Looks like some pony's dragon is gonna get trapped. I thought you didn't want to play this game. Well, I didn't want to pretend to be a foal, but I know you wanted to play. I thought it'd be fun to play a version big enough for full-grown ponies. What do you think? Fun, right? Actually, it's missing something. <laughs> now it's fun. <laughs> I don't know why I got so worried about us not having anything in common. Yeah. I kind of think it doesn't matter as long as we enjoy each other's company. And that game was certainly enjoyable. What made it even better was getting to play it with all my friends. See you soon? You bet. I want to hear if you find anything interesting in that barrel. Trust me, Starlight. You'll be the first to know. <laughs> <laughs>